Champion's new elementary school building. We're delighted to have you share in this historic event. This facility will be one of the first of its kind in the state of Ohio to feature a true 21st century flexible learning environment. It will offer our teachers and students many options with open spaces, movable furniture, and the latest in technology. The building will be available to the community groups for meetings and events. We know that our residents will be proud of this facility for years to come. Planning and design for this building was conceived by a local architectural firm, Lesco and Associates, in coordination with community members, administrative team, and staff. We would like to especially acknowledge David Conley of Rock Mill Financial Consulting and our very own treasurer, Amy Hendricks, who developed and created innovative financing for this project. We are most proud of the fact that this building will be completed without the need for additional taxpayer dollars. For the past three years, many community members have partnered with us to develop an overall plan for the future of our schools. I would like to acknowledge the members of the financial and facility task force groups that spent many hours meeting and discussing various options for Vermillion. The names of all of these volunteers are listed in your program. Ann Maiden, Bill Brickner, Carl Null, Cliff German, Cliff Morris, Mike Calatrulio, Dale Dawson, Dean Mayer, Dick Sanglin, Eileen Bulin, Fred Miggins, Glenn Peterson, Linda Griffin, Kara Habermill, Amy Hendricks, Kelly Ho, Jerry Schaefer, Rodney Johnston, Steve Perry, Sid Jordan, Ken Castle, Kevin McDaniel, Mark Williams, Maureen Lowe, Mike Rostis, Mo Ayat, Glenn Parks, David Rice, Tim Greeny, Rob Blashford, Ron Victor, Shelley Innes, Terry Smith, Tina Swinehart, Tom Innes, Reed Wakefield, Denise Zilski, Bill Matajasic, Mike Petrigan, and a special thanks for Mr. Smith who attended every single meeting. Please excuse us if there was any names that might have been inadvertently left off of this list. A lot of people came and went within the meetings, but we appreciated all of their volunteerism in these committees. I would also like to thank members of the Vermilion Teachers Association and OPC Local Number 332 for their support and positive suggestions for the design of the facility. Finally, I would like to thank our members of our Board of Education who are here today. Dale Dawson, Kurt Habermill, Vice President Shelley Innes, Sid Jordan, and President Dave Rice, who worked patiently and carefully to ensure that this project would meet the needs of our students. I want to thank you all for coming again, and I, I want you to please welcome me and welcome our speakers. We're honored to have Senators Randy Gardner and Gail Manning with us today. Senator Gardner has been supportive of the Vermilion Schools and has visited our district on several occasions. He has served Ohio since 1985, both as a member of the House of Representatives and the State Senate. Senator Manning is a former elementary school teacher who is serving her first term in the Ohio Senate. Recently, Senator Manning and Senator Gardner worked together to sponsor Senate Bill Number 42 a bill that offer, authorizes local levies for the sole purpose of funding additional school safety and security. At this time, I'd like to ask Senator Gardner to come and say a few words. Senator Gardner, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning. What a great morning for Vermillion. And uh, I'm uh, excited about this district in many ways, and uh, thank you very much for that kind introduction. Uh, first of all, I want you to know again, uh, I've got the message uh, on, the, on the tie. I think I only have one other district out of all my five counties that uh, purple is the predominant color for the school. So I wear, at least I wear it uh, when I can. Uh, also, I noticed we've got some very special guests with us. 
And I, my guess is they're going to be introduced or referenced sometime, but just in case not, uh, if you are uh, elementary school students who will be attending, you're excited, aren't you? I can tell the lady in the front <laughs> row is, aren't you? She's not sure whether she's going or not next year. Uh, if you could stand and turn around to the crowd and wave to them because it's all about you. Stand up, would you please? The students that are going to be attending the school next year. That's why we do this. Okay. Uh, I really appreciate uh, mentioning Senator Manning, especially. Um, sometimes people in districts, school districts or communities where it's split between one Senate district or another, they feel like they don't get the attention they deserve. I mean, I hear that in some other communities. And Senator Manning wouldn't have it any other way but to make sure that we pay attention to what's going on in Vermillion. And uh, while I've been here a few times, I know that throughout the budget process and throughout Senate Bill 42, uh, if it wasn't for Senator Manning's leadership, we would not be where we are today with respect to at least allowing schools the option of considering whether or not to be involved in additional safety and security uh, issues in their local communities. Candidly, if it wasn't for Vermillion schools, that issue would not have been a part of the ballot uh, a budget and would, would not be law in Ohio today. It was expressly Vermillion that got it done, and uh, Senator Manning was the chief sponsor of that effort. Um, my only other comments today is I've been asked to make a presentation, which I'm kind of excited about, because Representative Chris Redfern couldn't be here today, and I get to speak on his behalf. And for those of you who know uh, Representative Redfern and my our, our background, I would love to say a lot of things on behalf of Representative Redfern. Uh, we have uh, worked together a lot over the years, and it's just not very often that someone from the other side of the aisle is entrusted with the commendation. Uh, but uh, let me just say that uh, as a former member of the House, my name is also on the Senate commendation, Senator Manning, um, but as a former member of the House, I am glad to, uh, to step in and stand in. I hope for those of you who know Representative Redfern that you'll report that I didn't say anything otherwise about him that I might be thinking about right now, okay? If, uh, some of you might do that. But uh, if I could present the uh, commendation from the House um, to the Vermilion District, and, uh, and not only for today's groundbreaking, but, but candidly, um, when I think about Vermilion, I think about a district that hasn't received as high a percentage of state funding as it should have in the last number of years, but still has done excellent things in the district. This last state budget was different. We did a little bit. We kept an eye on Vermilion during this last state budget, so I'm proud of that. But it's also a district that it's not just about the building, but it's about the teachers and the parents and the children that are going to be a part of this. Um, and you do about as well. I believe, with the resources that you provided in a smart way, and this is another example of that, um, of any district that I think I, I represent. So I am honored to be here today to, to provide this commendation to you uh, and to, um, to uh, just express my best wishes and look forward very much to working with Vermillion in the future. Congratulations to all who are part of this great day. Thank you so much. We will put this in the board office, and I believe what we should do is read this at our next board meeting, which is uh, coming up actually next Monday night. So please stay tuned, and uh, you can read that or hear that on our uh, TV station. So thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Senator Gardner, and I appreciate you coming forward to say those few words. And at this time, I'd like to have Senator Manning come up. And once again, we're honored to have both Senator Manning and Senator Gardner here. So, without further ado, Senator Mann. Good morning, what a great day. Uh, Senator Gardner and I always enjoy attending days like this where you can be celebrating something new in, in, in a district. And uh, congratulations first to uh, the school board, the, the teachers, the administrators, the staff, and especially to the parents and to the children for, for what they have accomplished and what they're going to be able to have here in the next couple of years. Uh, I taught uh, for 37 years uh, elementary kids, second through fifth grade. So I know how very, very important it is to have the facility that will help you be able to do your job to the best of your ability. So um, 
I have, uh, on behalf of all the senators, all 33 of us uh, in the state of Ohio, and I, we made sure that Senator Gardner's name is on this, you are very fortunate to have two senators uh, representing you, uh, as Senator Gardner had, had said. Um, there are two of us. I represent Lorraine County and Huron County, and he represents the Erie County part of Vermillion. So it was very nice when the school board came to us with uh, Senate Bill 42 and, and talking about safety, and they said that they had been at a meeting with uh, their parents and how important this was to them. Uh, that uh, Senator Gardner and I immediately uh, got together and, and, and drafted the, the bill and decided that we needed to push this through as quickly as possible. I believe it began in January, it became law. We managed to get into the budget so it became law at the end of uh, June when uh, Governor Casey had signed it. I, I don't want to read the whole proclamation to you, but I do want to read one part of it to you. The Vermillion Local School District is deserve, deserving of high praise for its administration, faculty, and staff, which have worked tirelessly to help the students become capable, well-rounded individuals. As they observe this groundbreaking, these fine individuals can be proud of their many contributions to this new facility and of their unfaltering commitment to providing each student with a quality education. And this is signed by your, our president, uh, Senator Faber, and by uh, Senator Gardner and myself, Gail Manning. Congratulations to everybody. I'd like to present this to you. Senator Manning, thank you so much. And once again, we'll read the full proclamation at the next board meeting. And it's great to have a senator that is a former teacher representing the superintendents, the, the teachers, the staff, everyone. I know that we're greatly appreciative about that. So thank you again. Next, I'd like to bring up Eileen Bulin. Eileen Bulin has served her community for many years as service director and mayor of Vermillion. She's been a voice for positive change here in the community and her tenure continu continues to be successful in moving our city forward. Eileen served as a member of our facility task force and she's been supportive of the schools in many ways. So Eileen, if you could come on up and say a few words, we'd appreciate it. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. It really is an honor and a privilege to be here at this groundbreaking ceremony, because it's not only a groundbreaking ceremony for the school, but it's also groundbreaking news for the city of Vermilion, and we're very excited about it. I'd also like to begin by thanking everyone who made this happen, Superintendent Phil Pempin, our treasurer, Amy Hendricks, our school board, our school administration, our teachers, and all the committees that it took to plan and go through all kinds of different scenarios for these buildings. New school buildings don't just happen. They're not easy tasks. It has taken Vermillion, I think, about 40 years to build a new building. Mario Rini says he was on the school board the year after it was built, so I'm just guessing that it's 40 years. But it takes a lot of work, a lot of dedication, and a lot of meetings. I was at some of those meetings, so a lot of people put in a lot of time to make this come to fruition. It also tells you that people care about Vermillion and they have a true vision for our community. So today, we don't just begin to build a new school. We're making an investment in the education of our children, now and for all the generations to come. We're also investing in our community. New schools revitalize a community and make it a place where citizens want to relocate and where citizens want to raise their families. So today, together, we celebrate this groundbreaking of a new elementary school of a new place for learning. I congratulate everyone who was a part of this plan and had the vision for the continued excellence in our schools here in Vermilion, Ohio. I'd like to close with a quote from Margaret Mead that hangs in our city council chambers. I would hope that we always listen to this quote, but sometimes we don't. But this quote reads, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Thank you. Thanks, Eileen. That was a great quote, and I believe that our task force, both, both of our task force did a fantastic job with that, and they really do believe in that, and so does our community. At this time, I'd like to introduce David Rice. He's the president of our Vermilion Board of Education. Dave was first elected to the board in 2010, 
and he's been very involved in the reinvention plan and also for other planning for the district. We're privileged, we're, we are very privileged to have him on our board, and so please welcome our board president, David Rice. Well, good morning. Um, it's 35 years. I was in the seventh grade, and I went to the old junior high, and the kids on this side of the tracks went to the new junior high. But uh, uh, I've been part of the Vermilion School District for since the second grade, and Vermilion's my home. I can live anywhere, and this is uh, where I choose to live and reside and raise my family. It's a great community. Um, good morning to everyone. Uh, I am honored to be here today and be part of this historic event. Let me say, this journey has been challenging. Uh, at this point, if I hope I never hear the words floodplain, riverbed, historic riverbed, uh, bat nesting tree, spotted owl, uh, dinosaur bones, that was actually brought up as well, uh, and not to mention the endangered tree frogs that we had on this property. Uh, but uh, at, at this point, we're here today and Phil, I just want to make sure this is we we are going to do it here, correct? This is the spot. All right, good. Uh, thank you. Uh, the board's okay with that. All right, we've had a little challenges in, in, in getting to this point, and uh, uh, I'm just glad that we are here today and, and ready to break ground. Uh, all joking aside, um, I also like to be very thankful of the support of the community, the school staff, the facilities, the financial task force and so many volunteers within the administration uh, and, and within this community. Uh, without your coordinated efforts, uh, we truly would not be here today. Most importantly, this new school will provide our children with the greatest opportunities for early learning. In Proverbs 2, 6, start children off on the way they should go. And even when they are old, they will not turn from it. So this is, for us, it, it's critical for our children as we raise them to provide the best possible education. And the elementary school is a great start. I am confident this new school will help our staff provide educational foundation that will last a lifetime. I want to thank our teachers who work tirelessly each and every day uh, to provide the education for our young children. Um, may God's blessing be upon this property, its construction workers, its staff, and our children. Thank you. Nice job, Dave. That was some kind words, and that's a new one by me. I had not heard of the dinosaur bones, so I hope that that does not get uncovered, but if it does, we'll make some sort of a project out of that. And we've got the students right here to do it. Dick Sanglin's a well-known business owner and a community leader who has served as a spokesperson for the Joint Facility and Financial Task Force. Dick constantly strives to market Vermilion to our new residents here in town and our businesses through his work with Main Street Vermilion. Dick's positive influence on the task force was really important to the success of this project, so I'd like to welcome Dick Sanglin as our next speaker. Thank you. Thank you, good morning. Uh, you know, again, we went through the names of the task force volunteers, but there's a couple of all-stars here I'd like to just highlight. I mean, this will mean a lot to the task force members. Uh, the, the contributions of these were made by all-star team, the Brickner, Kara Hammermill, Tom yeah. Ennis, Rob Johnston, now moved off, Cliff Morris, fought every way he could, Michael Rostis, great wisdom financially, Terry Smith, we'll never forget you, Rodney Johnston, Fred Miggins, Gerald Schaefer, and, and uh, please note that Linda Ulrich will be watching over these kids for years to come. Being an ex-grade uh, school teacher in Indiana, I know she'll watch over these children safely. And Denise Zilski. Many thanks to the facilities, the Financial Task Force volunteers for their hard work, their honest dialogue, the dedicated commitment and the best interests of the students, the schools, the neighbors, and the city. I'm confident that you will see that this groundbreaking will ultimately benefit home values in Vermilion. 
that this new school and single campus will influence prospective homeowners to visit and buy homes in Vermilion. Speaking economically, the growth of family incomes in the United States has slowed over the last 20 years. Concurrently, there is a heightened awareness that the importance of education counterbalances this downward trend. This event is the fruit of three years of hard work of this task force. This groundbreaking would not have happened without the foresight of the school board, your school superintendent, Mr. Pepin. And most importantly, this could not have happened without the years of strong financial man management by Mrs. Amy Hendricks. This group has sought to cut your expenses and bolster efficiency, which has allowed this private financing to happen and qualify. The contributions to Mr. Jordan, Mr. Reney, Mr. Wakefield should be highlighted for their significant business and construction experience and contributions to the Board of Directors. My hat's off to our committee moderator, a very professional and patient staff of Lesco Associates. The experience of Dr. Ron Victor, an architect, Mr. Rob Blatchford, was invaluable. The task force uncovered approximately $2 million in savings with this consolidation of school buildings, which easily covers the expense of the $1 million to finance this project. Interestingly, we stand here dedicating this new building in our school system on the lawn of the previously last built school back, I think, in 1976 over here at Sailor Road. And immediately behind you is the high school. That was built in 1968 for $2.1 million with 125,000 square feet at a cost of $17 per square foot. Today's groundbreaking is for $14 million investment in elementary education with energy efficiency, technology features, and security elements that architects and builders in 1968 could not have envisioned. These material and construction dollars will flow into the market economy of this region to be very much appreciated by your workers, their unions, the bankers, and retail businesses for months to come. Individually, since this is the end of my participation in this volunteer role, allow me to make a suggestion to the high school board and the Vermilion citizens. Many here today feel the loss of a neighborhood school that we are replacing. My recommendation to mitigate that loss is that we pledge over the next five to 10 years to create and build from every neighborhood in this school district, a dedicated bicycle and walking path, lessening our dependence on the district school buses. This is an achievable goal in this community. And lastly, my advice to the parents, Please pick up and read a book. It is proven that children of parents that read become very good readers. Many thanks for this privilege to participate, and congratulations, Vermillion. You've done well for your students, your neighbors, and your city. Thank you. Thanks, Dick Zanglin, and I want to reiterate the core people that he mentioned on the committee were essential to the planning process. So thanks again for mentioning some of those names. I don't think we can uh, say their names enough, so thanks for doing that, Dick. Finally, I'd like to introduce Vermilion Elementary Principal Bonnie Meyer. Bonnie came to, Ver to Vermilion as a science teacher and she later served as an assistant principal at Vermilion High School before moving to the principal's position at the elementary school. She's been an integral part of the planning for this facility, and she will serve as its first principal. Bonnie, would you come forward? Thank you.
Good morning. A lot of really nice things have been said. A lot of really uh, important things have been said about how we got to this point. Uh, I won't reiterate all of those. Uh, what I really want to say is that it is a privilege and an honor to serve as the principal of Vermillion Elementary School. <clears throat> Vermillion is a great community because of the people who live here and the people who work here who make a difference. We have Main Street Vermillion, Vermillion in Bloom that work tirelessly as volunteers to make our city look beautiful. We have the Lions Club, the Kiwanis Club, the Rotary Club, and other service organizations that serve all of our citizens, young and old, and it makes our community a true gem. And at the heart of any great community are great schools. We are fortunate to have a superintendent with a vision for the future. He has sailed our schools into the 21st century with his one-to-one -one technology initiative vision that is a reality. We are fortunate to have a Board of Education that recognizes the importance of our academic programs and supports our district vision. We are fortunate to have great buildings and great grounds that are maintained for all of its citizens. South Street School and the current Vermilion Elementary School building, which by the way has served every grade level at some point in its, its, its life as a school, have served our community well for a very long time. But it is exciting to look forward to a new state-of-the-art school that will provide us with the things that we need for the kind of education that we are looking at in our current times. Education has changed significantly with the explosion of technology. Research shows us that today's students learn differently. And as educators, we must continue to provide them with the best opportunities that they can for their learning. Students must be prepared for the world they are going to live in. That's gonna require a lot of high level thinking and problem solving skills. At our school, Vermilion Elementary School and at our other schools in the district, we have begun that work with the integration of technology, with the focus on small group instruction, with the focus on standard-based learning. But in our new elementary school, these practices will be improved with the use of that flexible space to provide endless opportunities for students to work on projects in small groups and as individuals. Teachers will be working more as teams to provide students with all of those opportunities. We pride ourselves in believing that we will do whatever it takes to make every child be successful in our school. And we intend to continue that and feel that we will have a much better opportunity to do that. This is an exciting time for Vermilion and its community, and it just is one more reason to be proud that we live here. In a few moments, you're gonna witness a group of our young students who are the future of our community as they help make this vision a reality. To the parents, thank you for trusting us to give our students the best possible foundation. And to the community, thank you for believing in our vision and supporting our schools for the future. Thank you. Thank you, Bonnie. Okay, yesterday I went to buy some glasses and I, I go to Mark's because uh, I lose them all the time and they're 88 cents at Mark's. So I said, I have to increase the, the strength of my glasses from a two to a two and a half. But apparently the problem is I have to push them closer up to my, to my nose here because I missed one of our speakers. One last speaker, sorry. Tim Reaney. Tim has worked with the Ritter Library, and he has is a former school board member and is well known here in the community. And Tim will be now working in the same capacity on this project. And we're very happy to have Tim as, as a speaker here this morning and also as a manager on the project. So Tim, if you would mind coming to say a few words and I'm sorry that I missed it and I'm blaming it on my glasses. <laughs> Thank you. Well, well, you know, the first building I worked in, since everyone's talking about it, the first building I worked on in town was in 1976, was Sailor Way School. Um, I was down at the Laborers Hall uh, trying to get some work and they said, we need somebody to go way out to Vermilion. Does anybody want to go? I said, Sounds good to me. So I, that was the first job I worked on here. But um, I am also very privileged to, to be here and be a part of this project. I was only about um, three years ago when uh, Mr. Fenton and Mrs. Hendricks 
uh, came up with the plan to consolidate services at the district. And at the end of that program, they said one more thing. Uh, we want to find a way to build a school and sail away uh, uh, complex. And if you think back, uh, Mr. Rice, the picture they drew was right here where we have it now. So maybe they were smarter than all of us back, back then. So that's pretty interesting. Um, they wanted all the students on one site, all the facilities to work together. And it's going to happen. Well, here we are. And here we go. Um, we've been through the building process, the bidding process, design process. Now, there's going to be local involvement, as we've already seen. The uh, general contractor, uh, Roger Riachi, is from Strongsville. Um, he's working hard to find more local involvement, and we will have it. Uh, as was said earlier, the architects are local, so there's going to be a lot of uh, things coming back to the communities. So that's great. Um, we're going to have a 21st century school building when we're done. For so many years, um, I worked and hoped that I'd be able to build a school for our students, and now it's become a reality. So uh, maybe we'll have Mrs. Meyer come up, and we'll let the kids break ground. Thank you all. Okay, as Bonnie had said in her speech, the, the, our students is what this is all about. And at this time, we'd like to have Caitlin Callahan. Sydney Herkler, Brady Parker, Isaac Lutz, Darren Frank, Izzy Herkler, Ava Parker, and Kelsey Ling come forward. These students will all be part of the new building. They will all be here when it's built. And these are the students that Mrs. Meyer picked. And so let's give them a round of applause because they're about to break ground in this historic event. Okay, Mr. Rini, you have the shovels and we're going to have Mrs. Meyer and the students get the first picture. After this picture, we're going to start calling up groups. And if you wouldn't mind waiting until this first picture is taken, uh, and we'll just give them all of a round of applause after they've taken the first shovel. After that, I'll start calling groups up to the to the ground over here, and you. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much. All right. We're going to start calling groups up. Uh, if they could just stand and pose as long as they can. But after they're done here, as I said, there's plenty of refreshments here at the table. Please make sure you drink the coffee, the water, and the snacks we have as well here. So please come up to the table when you're ready. And I'll start calling groups up next. Our next uh, group will be with Senator Manning, Senator Gardner, and our board members. For the next picture. Thank <laughs> you. 